In this video, we are going to create and configure the SharePoint query suggestion in the search. So right now, if I go over to the books catalog document library, and this document library has the information about all the Excel files and PDF and Word document as well. So what I need to do is I need to create a file. I need to create a text file with all the names and then use that text file for query suggestions so i can just open up my notepad i have my notepad here and i can copy this and paste that in here so i need to put each suggestion in a line of its own so i can if i select all that problem is it would copy everything so what we would need to do is get rid of the additional columns that we don't need and get rid of the checkbox because all we need is a column having the information about the document in a plain text so i'm going to click on library in the ribbon click on create view a standard view and here i'm going to specify the name of my view single column this is going to be a personal view and i'm going to scroll down and pretty much untick everything here because we don't want all this information and the reason why we are untaking the name because we don't want the column to have any context menu or edit menu we just want the column to have just the pure simple text so i'm going to choose name column which says linked to document just one single column i'm going to come down expand the items limit and i know that i've my document library has got 30 plus items and if you want to avoid navigating to the next page you can just increase the item limit count and let's say 40 if you have got 40 items you can say 41 or 45 so that you will have everything displayed in one single page view and you can just simply copy the content from that column and then paste it into the notepad which will eventually be used in the search suggestions so i've got that value in there and I'm going to come down and click on the OK button. Now I have got only one column and the view that is in use is the single column view. And now we don't have the modified by or the modified or the genre column. We only have one column now. So if I copy the content from here and paste it into my notepad. Mm, looks like it is for some reason introducing a line break here. And we don't want to manually remove the line so let me go back to the view and there's one thing you need to do and that is come straight to the tabular view and untick the checkbox option this is allow individual items checkbox we don't want the checkbox and this was just adding additional lines in our notepad so i'm going to untick that and hit ok now this is looking a bit neater and cleaner so i'm going to select from the top and scroll all the way down and until here i'm just going to copy this by pressing ctrl c and come back to my notepad and i'm going to say select all delete now if i paste that from my clipboard now it has all the titles looking very nice and separated by a line so this is actually the title of the pdf files each appearing in a line of its own so now I'm going to save this and I can say query suggestion include query suggestions to include all right there's a straightforward name and I'll show you what I mean by to include because later on we are also going to use the exclude option so right now let's focus on the query suggestion that would be added to the search uh, text box so now we have a file handy now what do we do with this file this file has the names of all the documents that we have in the document library so what we need to do is we need to go straight to the central administration and we'll find out what we need to do next in the next video